Hello everybody and welcome to 7 Eye Talks. This is Simran and this is Adi. And we are your hosts for 7 Eye Talks. 7 Eye stands for Innovation, Inspiration, Ideas, Intelligence, Imagination, Impactful and Interesting. 7 Eye Talks is a podcast that focuses on interviewing talented and extraordinary young people. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Hello, my name is Aditya and today we have a the amazing Aurelia Worth in year seven at Seven Oaks School. She's a, she is a junior associate at the Royal Ballet School and Dance Conservatory. Hello, Aurelia, and welcome to Seven Night Talks. Hi. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Um, so I'm in year seven at Seven Oaks School. Uh, I'm 12 years old. I have two younger siblings and one older brother who's also at Seven Oaks and my two younger siblings are also interested in dance. I've been dancing for about nine years um, and I competed from the age of seven to 11 before I stopped to focus on ballet as like a, as a career choice. So who inspired you to take on ballet? Well, obviously I was really, really young, about two years old. Um, I started at the Catherine Bellinger School of Dance. You normally had to be two years old to get in, but I got it too. Um, and it was really my mum who took me as my first ballet class, and then I just kind of loved it from then on. Wow, exceptionally good. So when do you actually start learning to do ballet? Well, obviously I was a typical girl. I was two years old and mum took me to dance class and it was kind of just like baby ballet. So it wasn't like proper like training. Um, but then when I turned about six or seven, I started to go to a more intense schedule of 10 hours of training a week um, where I trained in multiple styles and that's when I started to compete. So what, do you enjoy anything in particular about ballet? Well, obviously there's so many aspects to it, um, but probably uh, the fact that it's quite free and you learn a lot of discipline and you obviously meet lots of really cool, interesting people. You learn so many new things and it's a really good experience to, um, and job to, or career to have. So it's kind of like let it's like a freestyle kind of thing and let yeah, let your wild side go on. Yeah, kind of. Um that's more like the contemporary jazz style of it. Ballet is very like refined. So it's very um smooth and fluid until you get older when you start performing on stages and that's when you start to learn more choreography. And that's when you can really like let loose and show what you can really do. Do you think ballet affects you and can be useful to you and other? Yeah, obviously you learn so much discipline um, and you make so many new friends and it's just overall a really good experience. So what would be your advice for the young people in the field of dance? Obviously you're very much experienced by now. So what about? Yeah. Honestly, to keep going, I've had a lot of setbacks, like when I auditioned for multiple dance schools as well as academic schools, I got finals, which is like the second round um, for most of them. But then the school I really wanted to go to, I didn't get into. And obviously that was like a super big setback because that's where I wanted to go for a long, long time. So when I found out, I was super upset, obviously. Um, but then I went to a new dance school because I thought I needed a new start. Um, and I've been there for a year now and it's been so good. I've improved so much. So probably the best advice would be to just keep going. Like when you fail, just to keep pushing forward and make the most out of every single class you have. Okay, so right now you are in Seven Oaks School, which is a pretty good standard school. So how yeah. has Seven Oaks School supported you in your journey? Oh, they've been amazing. Um, when I got in to Seven Oaks, I was thrilled because I knew I could keep dancing in my free time in the evenings. Um, I still do incredible 
uh, education in the daytime. So obviously there's not enough time in the evenings from when school finishes. So I end up on some days missing games so I could go to dance class instead. But they've been super supportive and I've been able to get out of um, sport in the afternoons. So it's been really good. They have been incredibly supportive. I mean, they're letting you miss in games. That is a very important part of the school. So yeah. right now we are in COVID lockdown. Mm -hmm. So how has this affected your learning in ballet? Has it kind of slowed it down? Uh, or have you felt a little bit apart from other of all of your friends? Well, obviously it's really difficult because I have a limited amount of space obviously but i've had like so many advantages that some kids would never have had because i have the most amazing opportunities i have had because of lockdown i've actually had i've had i've got the opportunity to dance with professional dancers so the people who are in the companies who have been training for like 30 years um have jobs uh and are working full time I've been able to do classes and courses with them, which is, I never would have got to do that without lockdown. But then on the bad side of it, we've been in a very refined space, meaning we haven't been able to travel at all. So we've been like staying at the bar and we can't do much like jumping or anything really free because I only have about two meters of space. So it makes it really difficult. Wow, so COVID has actually really stepped up in to playing parts with other professional people but as well as it has also decreased your amount of freeness your amount of yeah. wildness so <laughs> let's say after covid what will you be putting ballet into the future what are your plans for the future well um as I mentioned before i tried for the royal ballet school and didn't get in um when I get a bit older, so maybe 13, 14, I'm going to try again and fingers crossed to get in. Uh, and then if I do get in, I'll proceed through that school until upper school, which is basically you train at the Royal Opera House for about three years when you're about 16 years old and you work quite closely with the professionals. So, but you still keep doing education and ballet. And then after that, hopefully get into a company and then just keep dancing. Wow, so this is really your career choice right now. You've decided what you're going to do. Wow, yeah. I really hope you'll get in. It sounds like you really have lots of talent in yourself. Thank you. Okay, so this is 7i Talks and we hope you are inspired by it. Thank you so much for listening to 7i Talks. Make sure to share it with your friends and don't forget to tune in next week.